Hello everyone, we're back with a new section, Semantic Analysis, Meaning Matters. Let's move on to the first video of this section, Introducing Semantic Analysis. Semantic Analysis, or Meaning Generation, is one of the tasks in NLP. It is defined as the process of determining the meaning of character sequences or word sequences. It may be used for performing the task of disambiguation. Sentences can be formally represented using logics. The basic expressions or sentences in propositional logic are represented using propositional symbols such as P, Q, R and so on. Complex expressions in propositional logic can be represented using Boolean operators. For example, to represent the sentence if it is raining I'll wear a raincoat using propositional logic. Where P stands for it is raining, Q I'll wear raincoat. And the third one, P to Q, if it is raining, I'll wear a raincoat. Now let me show you the code to represent operators used in NLTK. First, we import NLTK, and then call the NLTK.boolean underscore OPS method. Well-formed formulas, or WFF, are formed using propositional symbols, or using a combination of propositional symbols and Boolean operators. Now let's see the code in NLTK that categorizes logical compressions into different subclasses. For this purpose, we import NLTK and define an input expression. As you can see, the output states that it's an OR expression. Now I change the input expression with an OR operator. Look in the output that we have a negated expression. Watch carefully how we use the inverted single quotes. Next we define the input expression with the AND operator. And the last one, the IF expression. For mapping true or false values to logical expressions, the valuation function is used in NLTK, like this one. As you can see, for the value Z it returns true. Now we set the domain and use the assignment function and the model function. And when we test the operator over the value of x and y, we get false, because an operation on true and false is always false. And the negation of this operation will of course be true. Similarly, let's check for x and z, and x or y. Next, I'm going to show you the first order predicate logic involving constants and predicates in NLTK. We first import NLTK and define the input expression. Then call expression.argument.type and expression function. Now let's get the expression function type. After this, we declare the sign and expression. Now the signature is used in NLTK to map associated types and non logical constants. Finally, Here's a simple piece of code in NLTK that helps you generate a query and retrieve data from the database. Okay, that's all for now.